Could cruising finally be back on the horizon? Well, the Set Sail Safety Act has been put in place by US senators to reopen the cruise industry. But there's bad news as well. Another cruise line has cancelled all 2020 cruises and more ships have been sold. We have this and much more. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to this week's Cruise News Roundup with me, David, and Ben. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And a big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this week's video. We'll have more about them later. So we've got some breaking news today. This afternoon, Republican Senators Rick Scott and Marco Rubio have introduced a brand new bill aimed at getting cruise ships sailing again. It's called the Set Sail Safely Act. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and it's been supported by the Cruise Line International Association, as well as others. And what they're going to do is establish a maritime task force. It will involve both federal and private sector committees working together to address security, health and safety, with the aim to get cruising sailing again. There'll be representatives from several federal agencies, including Homeland Security, Customs and Border Protection, and the Coast Guard. There'll also be private committee members, which will include representatives from the cruise lines themselves, ports, and even commercial fishermen. They're going to create recommendations to get cruise back up and running as quickly as possible. But the $1 million question is, how long will this act take to pass? And will it overrule the CDC's no-sale order? Well, we just don't know. That no-sale order is still in place till September the 30th, which is quickly creeping up upon us. Only time will tell, but this is a serious attempt to get crews up and running again by senators, by the government. So it's really good news. And as you know, Florida really heavily relies on cruise lines and the industry from operating from its several ports. Yeah, it's fantastic to see the government and the industry finally working together and coming up with a plan to get cruising back again. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. Just a quick interruption to the video. This sponsor is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. This sponsor is sponsored. Yeah, guys, we genuinely do love Skillshare. I've been using them loads lately. You may not know this, but Ben usually actually does all the filming on our videos. Yeah, and David's been wanting to learn more about video for a long time, but I am an awful teacher. I have absolutely no patience, so we've turned to Skillshare to help us out. Yeah, and I love it because I can watch the videos in my own time anywhere I want, so I just watch them on my phone. You can do it in your office, on your TV, yeah, you were even learning on the train the other day. It was really good. And what's great is that it costs much, much less than going to university or going to a class and learning about it. And as you said, the best thing about it is the flexibility of being able to learn when you want to learn. And it's not just photography and video. There are courses covering everything. The course I recommend is Video Production, The Complete Course. That's where I've started and it has really helped me. And I've been working in video professionally for well over 10 years and I think the course is fantastic. It covers all of the basics as well as filming yourself and editing. But what's better is there's courses for just about everything. Yeah, and because we're partnering with Skillshare, we've got a fantastic offer just for our viewers. So for a limited time, use the link in the description section below to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Oh, premium. Premium, bling, treat bling. yourself. It really is fantastic and it's really helped us during this downtime as well to learn some new skills. So why not learn some yourself? Thanks Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now back to the show. Next up, Royal Caribbean, as well as its sister company, Celebrity, have completely cancelled sailings from Australia and New Zealand in 2020. The earliest expected date for them to return is now January next year, so 2021. For details of what options you have, please watch our Royal Caribbean video. We uploaded it a few weeks ago and it gives you advice on what to do and outlining all the options you have if your cruise has been cancelled. Aside from the Australia and the New Zealand sailings, Royal Caribbean plans to resume cruise operations around the world on November the 1st, 2020. That's the date we still have, so fingers crossed it goes ahead, but that may change. Yeah, we really can't see this happening, so really do expect more pushback and delays. They also gave an update on their brand new Icon class of ship. 
So far, there's very little detail about this new class of ship, just that three ships are due to be delivered between 2022 and 2024. What we do know is that the ships will be built in Finland in the Mia Turku shipyard. They will accommodate around 5,000 guests, making them large ships. They'll be bigger than the Quantum class, but smaller than the Oasis class of ships. But the best thing about these new ships is that they'll be much more environmentally friendly and will be powered by a combination of liquefied natural gas or known more widely as LNG and fuel cell technology. LNG fuel almost completely reduces the emission of nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxide and particulates as well as cutting carbon dioxide emissions. The new class also introduces fuel cell technology which in combination with hull air lubrication means that the ships will be more fuel efficient. Yeah the most efficient ships ever constructed full stop. Interesting to hear what the hull air lubrication is. We actually did hear about this at the River Cruise Conference because uh, some river ships are also investing in this technology. Oh. Uh, from what I remember, it sort of creates pockets of air under the ship to make it sail glide. through. Glide. I was thinking glide, glide through glide, the water. Glide through the water, which uh, reduces friction, which means they use less fuel. Gosh, I remember that. Yes, <laughs> well done. And a massive well done to Royal Caribbean as well, really leading the way with healthier and better ships. Next up, Carnival news. Carnival Corporation is being forced to sell even more ships because of this horrible COVID crisis. It just keeps on continuing. The number of ships they are selling now, or scrapped, is up to 18. This is across a number of their brands, including Carnival Cruise Line and Holland America. There's still no information about what new ships will be sold, but if it follows the same way others have gone, it'll be the older, less reliable, and more costly ships to run. But this can be seen as a positive move as well, as these are older ships, they are much more harmful to the environment, especially being less fuel efficient. New ships are coming along with more environmentally friendly technology and better reliability, just like the Royal Caribbean that we were talking about. Every cloud, right? Yeah, exactly. Let us know which ships you think may be uh, going from the Carnival fleet. It's sad to see though, isn't it? But like you said, I think they're just accelerating their ship uh getting rid of these ships because i think they were going to get rid of them anyway yeah. in the future they're just doing it a lot quicker also four of carnival ships have also been taken out of service till almost mid 2021 the four ships are the magic paradise valor and spirit the ships will be back between march and may 2021 or not we just don't know maybe they're the ships they're going to sell Breaking news today from p Cruises UK, they have extended their suspension of cruising into early 2021. This means that they have cancelled all 2020 cruises, including our Iona cruise, Ben. Yes, so we were supposed to be cruising on the, uh, the Iona on December the 12th. Uh, cruises from the UK have been cancelled until February 2021 and cruises from the Caribbean until January 2021. In other news, Disney has said its brand new ship, the Disney Wish, will be delayed. This is due to the COVID situation and the impact it's had on shipyards. It was scheduled for delivery in January 2022, but they haven't said how long the delay will be. As soon as we have that information, we'll share it with you. As you know, the Odyssey of the Seas and several other ships like the Mardi Gras have been delayed by almost six months. So it's probably going to be about the same, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, we've just been on an amazing trip around the UK. Watch out for some vlogs that we're going to be doing soon. But it's really opened up our eyes, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we took all sorts of transport. We took trains, coaches, buses, Boats. even a boat. Yeah, and it was just trying to get out and see the UK. Yeah, but what surprised us the most is that all of these forms of transport and accommodation are allowed to open whilst cruise isn't. We stayed in several hotels that didn't even have mattress protectors. This was a four-star hotel. We paid for everything ourselves. Didn't have mattress protectors. We brought up the little flat sheet and it had hairs underneath. Transport that we went on was very dirty and hadn't been sanitised. And people sat very closely on transport for a long time because buses and trains were overcrowded. So why isn't cruising allowed to resume? It just isn't fair. We want to ask that to the governments, to all of the regulators. Why are all these other places allowed to open when cruising isn't? It really makes us angry, doesn't it, David? Yeah, it really does. I mean, a lot of the situations we were in are very similar to being on a cruise ship. You Even know? closer. 
Exactly. I was yeah. sat next to people within a meter to me. That doesn't happen on cruising. As we said, cruising is by far the most clean and safest form of transport we've ever taken personally. And we know after COVID, it's going to be even safer. So we are very confident that cruising will be fantastic in the future. So thank you so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Please support us by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button below. It really helps us out. And as we said, we've got so much exciting content, including our trip around the UK coming soon. And a big thank you to Skillshare for supporting us and sponsoring this video. Please check out Skillshare, guys, by clicking the link in the description section below by checking Skillshare out it helps us out a lot as well and if you'd like to support us even further you can check out our Patreon we give you loads of benefits you can find out all about it in the description section below the cruise captain of the week this week is Cody so ahoy, ahoy Cody. Cody that's it till next time happy, happy cruising, cruising.